So that is my buffing machine. 70 quid from eBay. Hello everybody and welcome back to Built Not Bought Campers and today we are going to go over something we did a long time ago on one of my very earlier videos and that's this decal removal from vans and now I get a lot of questions about this obviously because I've done the video already and we've reviewed, I say we haven't reviewed, we have used a lot of products, different types of methods to remove decals from vans because it seems that when we buy the vans they're just covered in stickers or we get people coming to us to remove stickers. It seems to be quite a big thing. But anyway, we've used lots and lots and lots of stuff. And we go through all this stuff so you don't have to. Now, the product we actually use is a product from Euro Car Parts. Um, that's where we originally bought it. And now we buy it in bulk because the stuff's so damn good. Today, we're going to be removing um, a very, very large decal on the forehead of this transit and also quite a large one on the back door of the transit. It's very, yeah, all I'm gonna say is the one on the front um, looks like it's been baked and baked well in the sun. So what we're gonna do, first of all, we're gonna uh, get the heat gun on it, scrape off the uh, actual vinyl part of it. And then when it comes to the actual glue that's left, we've got a really good product that we use. More about that later. And just to let you know, none of this is sponsored. This is stuff that we purchase ourselves with our own money. And no one's sort of coming out that will work saying, oh, I'll try this, try this, try this. No, this is something we bought. We've tried loads of different things. And if you see on our video, we used to use a stuff called Goo Gone, which we still do use for some things. But this stuff we're using now is so much better. Stay tuned. key part of this video is getting all this glue off here from the product we use. And that is really what this is about. So I'm going to lift the camera up there so you can see how bad it is. I'm not going to show you the product just yet. I'm going to save that little bit for a bit later. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you us using it and I'm going to show you how effective it really is and not that much effort at all anyway let's get on with it
So when I said to you, this stuff is good, it's really good. Bearing in mind, all I've done was sprayed the glue. I took it off with a plastic scraper. The metal ones are too fierce. So what you do is, get yourself one of these. I'll leave a link in the description below where I got it from. Um, they're pence, they really are. Same as the uh, product we use. Let's show you. And I've only done one half at the moment. So there you go, that's just half of it done. Heat gun, scrapes it off with a scraper, plastic scraper. Never use a metal one, please. You'll scratch and damage your paintwork. After that, just give it a spray with the product, leave it. I tried with a rag, because sometimes if you've only got a little bit on there, you can get off with a rag. But there's too much um, glue and residue from the stickers on there to even try doing it with a rag. So then I use the plastic scraper to scrape it all down, get a cloth to wipe it all off, give it another spray, then I wipe with a clean cloth, and that's the finish I've got. Once I've done that, you will be able to see where the stickers were, down to the fact that the sun has faded the paintwork compared to where the stickers were. So the, all the paintwork around the stickers has been faded slightly. So what I'm gonna do, once we finish this, I'm gonna get a machine buffer and polisher out, put a bit of tea cut on it and tea cut over it as well. Hopefully bring it back so the, if there's anything visible, it'd be very, very minimal. So I'm gonna get on with the other side. As you can see how sort of, how much that stuff works. At the end of the video, I'll show you the product and I'll show you exactly what we use to get it off. But all you've got to remember is spray it, leave it for a, few, a minute or so, scrape it, and then spray it again, get the rest off with a cloth. I don't know if you can see me, probably sat my nostrils. But that's that door done compared to that one. So I'm gonna give a bit more of an instructional tutorial now on <clears throat> getting this glue off because it's a lot easier to get the camera up there so you can see close up. And excuse the wobbling, it's really 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 here right now. A bit more of a close up, so we just spray the whole back of this van down with this product. And what we do now, we just let this soak in and react against the glue on the van. And that's all we do, just let that 
soak in. And literally you get your plastic scraper and scrape at the glue. It's the easiest way and you'll see it building up. Do the same thing down here. Oh, whoops. I always scrape from the top downwards, so it all ends up in one place. So you can see the build up of glue. Keep spraying, keep it nice and moist, and keep the scraper about a 45 degree angle. So the body of the van. So there you go, you can see all the goo collecting. Right, so now we've got it all off, we give it another spray to make sure the glue that we scraped off doesn't stick to the body of the van. We get with this cloth, we clean all the glue away. Now we've cleaned the glue away, we spray it again. And we leave it for a moment. And we get a clean cloth. Give it all another wipe over. So there you go. You really want to know what this stuff is, don't you? Right. It's called the Ultimate Tar and Glue Remover. Um, it comes in bottles this size from Euro Parts. We buy it by the five litre drum of it now because this stuff gets all sorts of stuff off of vehicles. Like you see, it's all gone. And nice and clean. You can still see shadows where it was. Like I said, you can still see shadows from where the stickers were, but that's where the paint has faded are surrounding the stickers. But a good way to sort of help bring that back is get yourself a polishing pad of some sort. You can pick them up at Halfords online. Um, you'll see, I don't know if I used it in one of my videos, one of the polishing pads. And we polished up the bus using it. About 60, 70 quid on eBay. Oh, I think you can get them on Amazon as well. And they're great bits of kit. They come with all the pads, polishing pads. That should get that out. So yeah, anyway, 
I'm gonna get that side finished off. I think I've videoed enough of this now, so and you know what this is. I'll leave a link in the description below because um, you can purchase it on Amazon. I'll leave it in there. And yeah, get yourself some. It cleans your van of all sorts. I say, it's not just glue remover, it's tar remover, but we've used Goo Gone, we've used all sorts of products. And this is one of the best. And if there's a company out there reckons they can beat this, send me a bottle to test it so I can find out for myself. We finished removing the decals and we've given the sides to clean up where there's some residue left over for the customer. And let's have a quick look, shall we? So, now the sun's not blaring, there's the front being done. And there you go. Nothing left on the back. So what we did once we'd finished taking the decals off, I say we've got a buffer out. Let me see if I can find my buffer. So that is my buffing machine. 70 quid from eBay. And I might have to buy a new one now because I've just dropped it. Anyway, one of those buffers, 70 quid from eBay, you get all your pads and everything you need with it. Watch some YouTube channels that use these clean equipment, especially these detailers. The reason we got a cheap one is because we're not professional detailers. We use it when we need it. Now, it's done a great job of those back doors. Let's go and have another look. So yeah, we use the buffer machine and the compound that we use is called Meguiar's Compound. I'll leave a link in the description below for that as well. Great stuff, worked a treat on that. So remember, if you're taking off decals, it's all right taking off the actual vinyl sticker, taking off the glue, you still have a certain amount of shadow in there due to the fact that sunshine will fade the paintwork but not the paintwork behind the decals. So that's been another productive day. One other thing we've done to this van, installed a diesel heater so you can see the controller over there and the vent is down there. And there's the remote and the paperwork for it. You're probably wondering why we didn't video this and put this out on the channel because so many digs of heater videos have been put out there. I've done a couple or two, I can't remember how many I've done now, I've done a few. Um, unless it's something special about the heater or about the installation, I won't be putting out anymore. But if you do have any questions regarding fitting diesel heaters, leave me in the comments below or send me an email. My email address is in the comments or you can contact me through Instagram, Facebook. Just search out Built Not Bought Campers. We're there, even on TikTok. Yes, we do TikTok as well. It's a very busy, busy life here at the workshop. We try to get it all out. And this is a nice little van. I don't know if I've showed you this little feature already, but can you see on the bunk beds up there, the little colored handles? They're climbing handles for the kids to get in and out of the bed. I think that's an absolute sweet little um, touch to the van because getting up to a bunk bed is quite hard and that gives it a bit more fun for the kids which I think is fantastic. Um, nice little transit conversion this one and it looks like they've had a lot of fun in it and going to have a lot of fun. We have one more job on this van before the customer comes and collects it and that is two and that job is to refurbish the wheels for him. So all those wheels are going to come off, they're going to be jet washed, cleaned, ground back and refurbished and sprayed a satin black um, Hammerite style paint on there, so it should look quite good. <laughs> 